Good evening. Today we're going to work on getting our bow grip ready to go. Now you should have already practiced your pencil bow grip so you already know a bit about how to form it. First of all, quick review of the parts of our bow. We have the frog, we have the, scraw, the screw, we have the grip, the stick, the tip, and the horsehair. Remember that we never ever touch the horsehair. So first of all, we're going to hold our bow in the middle with our left hand. This frees up our right hand to form the proper bow grip. With our thumb, we're going to get our video game thumb and put it right here in between the, the frog and the grip. You don't want to push it through. You want to put it right at the back, nice and bent. Next, we're going to go ahead and do our bunny ears. Our bunny ears should just cover the eye of the frog. After this, our bunny sleeps right about on that grip. And finally, for a violinist or a viola player, our pinky is going to perch on top, just like a birdie. And our cellos and basses, their pinky is going to drape over the side. Once you get this down, let's go ahead and work on our uh, control. We're going to go down bow and then up bow. Down bow, up bow. Be careful that you've got a firm grip. Remember, your fingers will revolt. So make sure that if they start to scrunch up like this, you say, no fingers, you are not doing that. And you start over. Video game thumb, bunny ears, bunny sleeps, and for a violinist or viola, pinky on top. So once we do our down bows and up bows, we're going to do our windshield vipers. You can go ahead and hold your elbow up here like this, your left hand, so that we can go windshield vipers, windshield vipers. I want to wash your windows. And then you can practice your down bows, up bows, and reform again. Always look at your hand to make sure you're having the proper bow grip. I hope you've enjoyed practicing with your bow tonight. Have a wonderful evening.